up guys and welcome back to another video where we do a bit of 3D printing again and it involves harnesses this time. So without further ado, let's get to work and show you what I've got in store. Let's go Patrice! So as you can see we're back here in the back of the Civic of the EF. This is obviously the driver's seat, this is my harnesses and this is the harness bar. What I'm looking to design now is something that can take up this slack of this excess harnesses here. Uh, I used to have them coiled up and then just zip tied to the back. But now for with the 3D printer and getting things going again, let's design something that's kind of like cheap, easy, and it just does the job really, just holds the excess harness. So I'm thinking of designing something that kind of coils it up and then holds it roughly around about here, or it could be under. I kind of don't quite know what I'm gonna do yet until I start throwing around ideas in Fusion. So that's kind of what I'm, I'm going for, or something like that. Let's get onto Fusion so I can start playing around and show you kind of like what I'm looking at designing. Let's go. So here we are in Fusion. First of all, I'm just going to start off by drawing the actual harness bar itself, just so that I can use this to design off of. Uh, first of all, I started off with a back bracket, kind of like the same style as like um, the GoPro mounts where the front side of the rear connects to the front. And then I moved on to create the front section of this bracket with like a cog, a spur cog gear in there, just so that I'm able to uh, rotate a shaft so it kind of holds the tension of the actual harness. But we'll get more to that as we move along. And then we moved on and I obviously designed the other rear bracket side of it. And then this front section of that one also. But on the other side of this one, it's a little bit more different. Uh, I'm gonna have like a push button, kind of like a release to be able to push the cog out of the groove so I'm able to rotate it and then for it to snap back in and tighten it back up. And this here is the center shaft. So this center shaft is what's gonna actually grip the um, harness through that slot and then rotate it around to actually put the tension on it. To coil up the uh, harness itself here there is those little in there it's going to be glued in one of those brass inserts for an m4 uh, bolt and here this section here is going to be uh, glued to the cog side of it but no, notice there's an allen key access in there as well so i'm able to do this up with an allen key if i needed so here is the cog that uh, i've gone with so if you kind of look at this, like the whole red section should be able to slide out to the left, be able to rotate it either by your finger or putting an Allen key in the end, rotating it round and then um, pushing it back in, being able to hold it in position while you do up the end cap on the end. But I'll show, I'll show you more of this as I'm uh, assembling it once we get it off the 3D printer. I'll talk a bit more in more detail. It's easier to show you that way. Obviously here's the, kind of like the final uh, design of like what I'm going for. Uh, like you see is like just a strap going around. Either the strap's going to go over on the top in round or down in under. But that's basically it. So let's get onto the 3D printer and start 3D printing all these parts and get assembling. Let's go. So here are all the parts straight off the 3D printer and the hardware that you require to do this. We start off with the center shaft here, that's the uh, M4 brass insert to get inserted into the end of this one here so that this end cap here goes on so you can unscrew it, bring it out so it comes out, slides along the shaft which then gives you enough room for the cock to come out of there. This is an example of what I'm talking about where the end cog is glued on it also has the allen key access for that as well and that's the m4 brass insert glued in there like so hardware for these if i quickly just show you
like so and then once you pull that back in you'll see that the nut would go right into the groove like so so then that can stay in there unscrew that that can stay in there a little little tab of glue will keep that nut in, in place so these four here are packers for the roll cage um, my harder bars uh, are slightly smaller than my main hoop so I kind of designed it for a main hoop because I know a lot of people put the main hoop size bar in there. So the main hoop bar is 44.5 millimeters. I think that's about an inch and three quarters, something like that. And with the packers in, it allows me to go down to my roll cage, which is a 40, um, yeah, 40.2 millimeters it measured out as, uh, which is I think is about 1.5 inches. So yeah, that's how these work. They go in here like so. They snap in there. One. So let's just get assembling. So here we have it, just all buttoned up, um, semi-tight, don't want to go too crazy because it's only free printed plastic at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, it's only got to hold this excess cable, excess harness. So let me just show you how this works. So how this works is at the moment it's locked in position, you cannot rotate that. The only way you can rotate this is by undoing that which allows us to come out of the shaft and rotate it. Let me give you a demonstration. So here now I'm going to undo this side all the way out like so which allows that to come out from the shaft which then moves back to this side and gives this clearance so that I can rotate it. So if I just give you a quick demonstration with the harness um, as the harness will go around or we'll go up this way back through I'm just doing this just, just for demonstration only so let's say we had all this access here and we wanted to get rid of it so we made that up there and then we come in here and we'll do it going down I'm going to put that in there just so it's easier to so move line that up there like that and then just rotate Let's keep going back and forward, make it tighter, coil this up a bit more. Once you're happy where you are, roughly around right about there, push it back into the cog, like so. There, that's locked in place. And then you rotate this so it snaps back, like so. If I just show you there, rotate in and then. There you go, like that. That snaps back into place. Do this one up. Like so. And there you have it. All it does is just holding the access harnesses. Voila!
everybody. Yes, I've uploaded this day on Christmas Day, and for that, I'm going to give back to you. If you want this file, this STL file, to print your own, then you can do. It's absolutely free. Yes, free, Patricia. All you've got to do is go over to the website, chuck in Google BYC Designs, click on the actual web link, then go over to Downloads, and it'll be in there. So once you've completed your uh, purchase, you need to go back into your account, my account, and click under my order, it says downloads, click on there, and then just click on the blue download button with a white cloud. There you'll see it pop up in the bottom left, and there you go, is the STL file ready to download. Once you're done with that, insert it into your 3D printing software. Just to let you know, I've had to connect all the parts together with the small little tabs here. They're so small, so you just need to break them off, nothing big. And there you go. Have fun. Thank you very much, and see you on the next ones. Merry Christmas, Patricia. Let's get hammered.